إذ لم يروا ما سوى هذه الثلاثة مصيدة للحرام وشبكة للحطام. Because the, the, these, uh, other than these three, it's just a masyada for the haram. It's, it's, it's a trap for the prohibited. And it's a net for the chafe of this world. As for the knowledge of the next life and the path that the Salaf al Salih followed, but as for the path of the Akhirah that the Salaf followed and what God called in his book, fiqh, understanding and wisdom and knowledge and light and brilliance and guidance and discretion uh, and, and discernment, this has become amongst the people lost. It's completely forgotten. When this was a dangerous opening to this religion, and this dark, gloomy affair. I realized I need to preoccupy myself with, with writing this book. To bring back these sciences. To show people the path of the people that went before us. وَإِضَاحًا لِمَا هِيَ الْعُلُومَ النَّافِعَةُ عَنْدَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَالسَّرَفُ الصَّالِحِينَ وَالسَّلَامُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِمْ أَجْمَعِينَ To show them the beneficial knowledges that the prophets brought and that the salaf al-salihin used. وَلَقَدْ أَسَسْتُهُ عَلَىٰ أَرْبَعْتِ أَرْبَعَةِ I have built it upon four uh, uh, quadrants. The first quadrant is the ibadat. The second is the, is the adat. So the first is, is the devotional practices, the second is habitual practices uh, like marriage and commerce, buying, so what we'd call mu'amalat. And then the, 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 uh, the, the third is the muhlikat, the destructive tendencies of the human being, and the fourth is the munjiyat, is those things that are salvific that will save you. وَصَدَّرْتُ الْجُمْلَةَ بِكِتَابِ الْعِلْمِ And I began with the book of knowledge. لِأَنَّهُ غَايَةَ الْمُهِمِّ Because this is, the, this is the, the end all. This is the purpose of this matter. لِأَكْشِفَ أَوَّلًا عَنَ الْعِلْمَ الَّذِي تَعَبِّدَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَ الْعَيَانَ بِطَرْبِهِ عَلَى لِسَانِ رَسُولِهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ In order to show you what true knowledge was. The knowledge that God has de demanded of us to know on each person in order to worship him properly on the tongue of his Prophet Sallallahu Seeking knowledge is an obligation on every Muslim and the idraj of the hadith which is added by the ruwat later wa muslima because there was a, some ulama early on claimed that you didn't teach women and the women just followed the men and they put that in there to emphasize that this included men and women. And, and that's in Ibn Majah, that hadith. So as it's related in the book of Ibn Majah, it says uh, Muslim wa Muslima, man and woman, even though Muslim contains both. And I distinguish between beneficial knowledge and harmful. sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, na'udhu billahi min ilmin la yanfa' Because the Prophet ﷺ said, I seek refuge in Allah from knowledge that doesn't benefit. And, and we have so much of it. You think of all the things we know, of no benefit. I mean, I, I, could, I could give you lessons in, in things I've wasted time learning. Or things I learned before. Just total waste of time when I think about it. It's like, why, why did I waste my time learning that? وأحقق ميل أهل العصر عن شاكرة الصواب وانخداعهم بلامع السراب واقتناعهم من العلوم بالقشر عن اللباب and and then I sh I prove to you that that this the people of my time they are taking the outward only and they've been fooled by a a, a, a brilliant mirage. And they, 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 they're content amongst the knowledges with the chafe and not the actual grain. They just have the outward of it, the qishr. 
And then he goes into the books that are in there. And this is the architecture of the, the book, which is very fascinating. He begins with Kitab al-Ilm, and then he has the Aqaid. So the first, he lets you know what ilm is, but then he goes into the Aqaid, and then Tahara, the secrets of Tahara. And, and he says in here that I put this in the form of a fiqh book because I know everybody loves fiqh books. So I'm kind of tricking you to get into it. And he said, just like he said, I read a book by a man who wanted to teach medicine, and he knew astronomy was more popular than medicine, so he wrote his medical treatise like an astronomy book. <laughs> so, and then the asrar of the prayer, the asrar of zakat, the secrets of fasting, the secrets of hajj, the secrets of adab the kitab adab tirawat al-Quran, the comportment, the courtesies of reciting the Quran, kitab al-adkar wa da'wat, the book of adkar, of all the dhikrs we do, and, and the prayers. وَكِتَابْ تَرْتِيبَ الْأَوْرَادْ فِي الْأَوْقَاتِ And the book of putting our awrad in their proper times. Because there's practices that you should be doing every day. وَأَمَّا رُبَ الْعَادَاتِ It has 10 books also. There's 40 books. Each uh, quadrant has 40. So he has the adab of eating, the adab of marriage, the adab of... Uh, earning a livelihood, the adab of the halal and the haram, the book of halal and haram, the adab of suhbah, of friendship, uh, from the different types of creation, you know, all the different types of people that you find in the world, the book of uzla, the book of retreat, the adab of safar, the, the, the courtesies of traveling, the adab of sama' wal wajd, the adab of listening to things that affect the heart, uh, like poetry, in shad, so there's adab to that. Kitab uh, al-Amr bin Ma'roof wa Nahi an al-Munkar. The book of calling, enjoining good and forbidding wrong. And then the book of the adab of Ma'isha wa akhlaq al nubuwa The book of, uh, of livelihood and then the akhlaq of the, the Prophet, which is the 20th book. It's the heart of the book, right at the center. And then he's got the muhlikat. And the first, he begins with the wonders of the heart, the riyadatun nafs, the book on the afat al-shahwatayn. And I'll talk about that the, the, the two shahwa, the, the stomach and the fart, which is the concusable, uh, concusable, uh, or, uh, yeah, concusable uh, desire, the, 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 the lower nafs, because the, the, nafs, the nafs has three. It, it has the, the quwa shahwaniya, which is the concupiscent uh, soul which is the lustful, the gluttonous soul. And so he talks about breaking those two things, lust and gluttony, because they're the foundation of all ma'asiyah. And, and you have to learn to control them. You have to learn to control your eating, control your sexual habits. And, and, uh, and then shahwat al-batan, which is shahwat al-batan and fard, so that's the... And then kitab afat al-lisan, the dangers of the tongue. Uh, and then the dangers of ghadab, hiqad, and hasad, the dangers of anger and of resentment and of envy. Kitab dhamm al-dunya, the book on censoring the temporal world. Dhamm al-mal wal-bukhal, censoring wealth and miserliness. Kitab dhamm al-jah wal riya censoring stature and ostentatiousness. And then dhamm al-kibr wal-ujab, the dangers of arrogance and vanity. And then the last one, dhamm al ghurur delusion. So those are the muhlikat. Those will destroy you. And he took the most important ones because all the other ones fall under them. Rubh al-Munjiyat. And then the last section are the Munjiyat. And there are 10 books. The book of Tawbah. It begins with Tawbah. That's the beginning of the path. And then the book of patience and gratitude. So patience in tribulation, gratitude in blessings. The book of fear and hope. The book of poverty and detachment. The book of Tawheed and Tawakkal. He put Tawheed and Tawakkal together because he said without true Tawheed and not learning your Aqidah. He's talking about really witnessing God in the creation. Like seeing that everything comes from God. That's the only way that you'll rely on God. When you realize everything's from God. Right? إِذْ قَالَ النَّاسُ إِنَّ النَّاسَ قَدْ جَمَعُوا لَكُمْ فَخْشَوْهُمْ be afraid of them, the people, they're gathering against you. فَزَادُهُمْ imana. They got increased in faith. وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ 
right? Because that shaitan yukhawifu bihi awliya'ohu. Shaitan's just trying to frighten his friends, but the friends of God aren't frightened by that. They're not frightened by tribulations in the dunya. Kitab and mahabba wa shawq wa uns. Now we're getting closer. Love and desire and uns. Wa contentment. Tuma'nina, because now you've gone through all these phases, so you're getting closer to the real, the, the, the hub. Now he's moving towards the, the center, the hub of the affair. Kitab and niyya wa sitq wa ikhlas. Your intention, your sincerity, your truthfulness. Kitab al muraqaba wa muhasaba. Now that you're in this position, you have to be aware. Don't get arrogant. Be vigilant about yourself. Take your soul to accounting. And then kitab al-tafakkur. Now you're ready for meditation on the truth. The highest thing. Kitab al-tafakkur. The Prophet said to be in tafakkur for one moment is better than 60 years of ibadah. Tafakkur wa sa'atan khayru min sittina sana ibadah. This is the highest. He's taking to the highest thing of this religion. But it's an arduous path. وَكِتَابِ ذِكْرَ الْمَوْتِ And then the book of remembering هَذَا مَا لَذَاتِ أَكْثِرُ مِنْ ذِكْرِ هَذَا مَا لَذَاتِ Do a lot of remembrance of the destroyer of pleasure. The destroyer of delights. And that's the end of the book. 